Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, freaking <laughs> <Dying> man. <laughs> what do you want, bro? What do you want? It's a good time. We're with the family. That's it, bro. We're with the family. We're with the gang. Lush, Ibby, and you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got some music today. Nia. Mm. Nia. <laughs> what does Nia mean? Your intentions. That's exactly. So, ni tak is your intentions. Ni is, in, is intention. It's an Arabic word, uh, previously transliterated as niya with two Ys. It's an Islamic concept. The intention is in one's heart to do an act for the sake of God, for Allah. My intentions were pure. Interesting concept. I think that this is an important conversation to have, particularly for women when they're approached by men, when they are being courted by a man. This is often in Arab culture and in other cultures around the world, but we can only speak for, for Arab culture. Yes, sir. The women are often curious what the intention is. What's the niya? It's really good to see even nowadays where as we see sort of gender roles mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. mixing up, if you will. And there's good, there's advantages and disadvantages, in my opinion, to that. But the, the, the concept of niya, the concept of intention, really brings the girl back to the cultural roots that actually praises and celebrates and empowers a woman to know her worth and to make sure that... The person courting her, the man who is interested in her, knows it also. Of course. And not only knows it, must. he needs to prove it. Right away. Mm. Mm. Looks like a giant pharaoh. Yeah, I got the Egyptian vibes there too. Hey. Uh, I like that. Let's go. Give me those violins. Woo. Oh. Hey. This is such a good example of the questions that a girl asks at least a strong, confident one that is not there mm. to play your games or is not there to accept anything but pure intentions. Yes. What do you want? And I'm not here, she said, I, I like what she said, I'm not making sacrifices for you. You're gonna have to work. Yeah. And you're gonna have to prove that, dreaming. that you really want me. And I love that because it's actually uh, uh, giving the girl the dignity and the worth and the weight you know, her weight in gold, as they say, yes. towards the man. And then that, that to him actually increases her worth. And it's not something that's going to come easy. And just like everything in life, when you have to work hard for something, right? The fruits of your labor is, are so much sweeter at the end of the day. You feel good. You, you feel, feel good. good. The harder you work to get something and the more honest and dignified you are in doing so, the sweeter the, the, the reward is at the yes, end. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Always an amazing reward. And it's the same thing, which I love about the culture because we have maintained that and it's incredibly refreshing. Other areas in the world would say, no, don't bother with that. You don't need to do that anymore. Uh, 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 our version of empowerment, our version of, uh, of liberation is that, hey, if a girl wants you, she's going to come tell you and she's going to grab your hand and she's going to, she's not worried. She's not concerned about your intentions. You should maybe be concerned about hers. You know, it completely flips everything 100%. on its head. 100%. Wow. And then she's saying, I'd rather be alone. So she's not desperate. Yeah. You know? Wahdi. <laughs> hey. See? Yeah. If you know who you are and you know what you want, and I happen to be that, then you're gonna do what you have to do, is what is basically yeah. what she's saying. Yeah. And if you don't, then that's a huge example of your character and whether or not it was worth it to begin with. Exactly, and you're gonna miss out. Look at these strong queens, these strong Amiras. Let's go. 
The video is all women too, that's sick. That's a, yeah. Ha. I want to follow God's rules. Yes, salam. Let's go back. I want to. I want to just break that down because this is incredibly important here. Watch this. Watch this. She's saying. She's explaining what she wants. The the, the women in in the culture are not these weak, confused, frail, fragile little flowers that are just waiting to be picked from a garden. You know what I mean? 100%. Just, just, like, like, just, they're not that. The, and, and so she has her ambitions. The, the, the women, the girls, they have their goals, they have their aspirations. And so what? if they don't match the Wall Street business aspirations of the most powerful women on, on, the, on the, the, the 50 under 50 or whatever the list is of yeah. the most wealthy people. So what? She knows what she wants, she knows her worth. It's dates, flowers, henna, and to be surrounded by uh, her family. What more do you want? She may have her goals, her aspirations, uh, business or, 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 or land or farming or it doesn't matter. Everyone's different. That's it. But at least for her, she's actually saying like, hey, by the way, um, I'm somebody in here and all it takes is one word from you. And if the intention is right, you can have it all. It's all yours. Bars. It's so beautiful. See? If you know what my goals are. Mm -hmm. As long as you know what you want, you'll get what you want. I'm a right or I'm a right? You are right. I think that the, the conversation remains that, you know, what does a powerful woman look like? Yes. And a lot of people would say, no, you have to charge. You have to bang your head against the wall. You have to be first. You have to be running. Do you know how, do you know how, how, how much strength is required for somebody not to do those things and to still know their worth and not have to prove it to themselves and the people around them? Why do we keep celebrating the mom and the women and the female? What do I, what do we say all the time? Hmm. They're the jewel. That's it. They're in the middle. They're the backbone. Without them, nothing happens. Are they loud? Are they banging uh, on walls? Except for some mothers that we've seen on some episodes that we've watched that were really in over their head. But beyond that, beyond TV and entertainment and all that, we're talking real life, like, mm. like, in, like what we know. Yeah. And what you guys know also. The, 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 the mother, the, the woman, the female, everything. And this is what this song means to me. The power of knowing who you are and what you want and being able to walk away. That is the ultimate that is she, show of power. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And that's 100%. why the niya, the intention, is, is, is the key to unlocking everything. And the woman knows that yep. in our culture. And I love the fact that it's still here to this day. And it's being represented and celebrated and then shown this way. This is the queen mentality. This is the queen life. Because you know who we are? Zihou. Zihou.